which brings us to CVE 2021-22925. So curl is a command line tool and libcurl is the related library. No, I'm just messing with you. All right, so what was the fix here? The fix was that they set it exactly equal to two. They wanted to make sure that this would match twice and if it returned zero or returned some other thing besides two, then it would not get in here. But was there a problem with that? Of course there was. I wouldn't have stopped my video and asked you to find a problem if there wasn't one. I'm not trying to trick you yet. Okay, so what if, for instance, the attacker set the first part to some small string and left the second part to a big string? Well, in that case, it would actually return two from scanf because the first one would match, foo would go into var name, and then 127 out of the 256 a's would go into var val. So scanf returns two, var val is 127 a's, not all 256, but therefore the string length, which is used to calculate temp lang, which is used to increment lang, is too big once again, and we're going to be stepping too far forward, and we're going to be leaking uninitialized data. So let's visualize that. In this example, foo is three characters, plus the comma is four, plus 256 is 260, plus one is temp length of 261. Check length four plus 261. Is that less than the overall thing? Yes, it is. So it's going to get into the scanf. And now we have var name is set to the foo down here, and var val is set to 127 a's. Then when it gets into this interpolation, we have constant value zero, var name foo, then the constant value one, and then var val equal to the 127 a's. So this is then the problem. It's moving too far forward because they didn't actually fill in 265 characters. And so it's going to walk forward and then temp of lang is going to stick these two constant characters somewhere farther up the stack. And consequently, there's going to be all this uninitialized data here. As before, it's in a loop, so if you just did it twice, then you would get filled in buffer, uninitialized, filled in buffer, uninitialized. And that would keep going on as far as you could fill in data in temp, uh, but you can't get out of temp because of this check right here. It's making sure that as you're incrementing forward, you can't walk outside of the bounds. All right, so returning to the original code, I did mention that that was a nice big uninitialized buffer, and I think it's worth pointing out that if they had followed the guidance to initialize all the things, then the first CVE nor the second CVE would have actually happened because both of them were the result of there being uninitialized data access with a big uninitialized buffer. So what was the fix for this? Well, they changed it now. Instead of looking specifically for equal to two, it calls the scanf and then it checks a return value and it says if the return value is one, then it's just going to put in the first string. And if the return value is greater than or equal to two, then it puts in the var name and the var value. You can see they actually also introduced this sep, or I assume separator, as this uh, percent one here in the middle. And quite frankly, I didn't really look into what that is and what its purpose is or anything else. So, you know, my assessment is it doesn't initialize all the things. So I guess it's okay, maybe for now, until the code changes in some future world. But uh, also again, you know, Zeno's assessments of patches are not meant to be definitive, authoritative. You could always go check the code and see if it's changed since I pulled one particular patch commit to show you. Maybe it's changed, maybe there's a new bug, maybe there's a bug in this particular commit as well. As always, past results are not indicative of future success. Ask your doctor if an extra separator variable is right for you.